Johnny Stapleton here from RoysBoxing.com with Shane the Breeding Counselor. Trainer, Shane, just how have you... <laughs> Freddie's giving him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, just what did you make of Kinko's demeanour? Yeah. The certain things he's saying, I don't know, he's hinting that he's going to be on the back foot and stuff like that. Uh, he's not going to be on the back foot. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I mean, his demeanour's... I think he was humiliated the first time that he fought Carl. Carl he said he couldn't hit like you know he's been couldn't hit as hard as his six-year-old nephew. Carl ended up knocking him out. Just just want to you know doesn't want to be humiliated again. Uh, let himself down the first time by doing all those slashing neck gestures, and it was for a European title. I think you know now that he's a world champion, he's sort of trying to hold himself in uh, in height, you know. As a, as, a, as a more formidable force. Would you admit he would have had to improve to, and he's gone through some opponents like of, of decent levels? Mm. And if Carl beats him then, is that a statement again that Carl would have done a job on all them? I think, you know, maybe he's improved a little bit, mm. but Carl's improved a lot, you know, and I, and I know he's improved a lot. And Carl's the more adaptable fighter. Kiko does the one thing, you know, I mean, he comes mm. forward, rolls his head, punches hard. Once that, once you can't dent your dent your opponent in front of you, and you're hitting the guy, and they're, they're standing in front of you, moving their head, and they're throwing bombs back at you. As a pressure fighter, it's a, it's a lonely place to be in the ring. You know, he's changing his training, he's blaming other people. It's he needs to start blaming himself. You know, what I mean, and like, and taking you know taking that in, you know, taking that last defeat in, into his own mental state. You know, and realizing that Carl was a better fighter in the night. And he's a better fighter, and that's what's going to happen on Saturday night. And in terms of Carl's sort of attitude to this one, is it any different? Is it hard to sort of motivate him because he's already beaten Kiko? I know the world. No, no, I don't mean not, to that level. But yeah, I know. I know what he's saying, but yeah. no, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not hard to motivate him. He's a, he's a kind. Of, he, he trains like a beast anyway. It doesn't matter who he's fighting. He could be fighting Ooh. Joe Boggs down the road. He just he loves to train. Loves to be in the gym. Loves to spar. Sparring that we got is we really stepped the sparring up this time. Brought in. Um, a guy who's 17 and 0, super featherweight from top rank, and he did uh, two and a half weeks with us. And, you know, that's it's just, that's the sort of stuff that we needed. You know, really take him start, start really taking him seriously because anybody domestically, Carl just destroys them in sparring, and we have to just go through them and get up, go up the weight divisions and stuff. And uh, you know, it's sort of counterproductive because you end up fighting big slow guys. But but this time we've had just ideal sparring partners. Um, and he's prepared so men you know, mentally, mentally and physically brilliantly for this fight. On a personal note, you probably started training Carl on your own the last Kiko fight, and yeah, so yeah. soon and so young, you could be the trainer of a world champion. Yeah. Does that cross your mind? Do you know what? I don't even think about it like that. I just think, you know, each take each fight as it comes. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's great you know, that he's fighting for a world title, but this isn't where we want to stop. We want to continue to go, and we want to continue to have unification fights. And, and you know, this is the thing with boxing. It's not really about world titles anymore. It's about names. It's about who you can fight and how, how you can take out the, you know, the, the best guys in and around your weight division. And there's a couple of huge names you know, in and around the featherweight division and the, and the super bantamweight division. That are out there for Carl Frampton. Do you so think he could, Carl could move up weight? And oh, 100 percent. Yeah, he's a, you, you can see him today. He's he's a, he's a huge specimen yeah. for a super bantamweight. Um, he's got the power to go up through the weight divisions as well. Um, I think you know there's obviously a limit on it. Yeah. Uh, he'd probably end up you know super featherweight is probably his max to go to. But he's he's a, he's a, he's a serious talent. He can he can his power can go up through the weight divisions. But we've got the one fight on our mind right now, and that's Kiko Martinez. And we know the game plan, and we know how to beat him. Any predictions? Knockout. Yeah. yeah, and I think Carl's going to knock. Yeah, he's definitely going to knock him out. And um, just a quick word on. I know you're in a hurry there on uh, Cummins and Kakacha. They're in your gym as well. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great to have him in the gym. You know, Conrad's improving every every training camp. This is his fourth training camp with us now. Anto's, you know, is a new face to the gym. He's serious talent. Got a lot to learn. You know, he, <laughs> he's very very raw, uh, raw talent. But you know, he's. He, He's got a lot to learn, and, he, and he's listening, which is the most important thing, you know. And, and so you got you got to get through to him more mentally than than his ability is always there. You just have to sort of discipline him, and uh, you know, comrades, you know, he's always had the discipline, but we now need to start tweaking him on his on his um, boxing technique. It is a massive step up for Conrad and it's just a yeah, yeah, fight yeah. this yeah. guy this guy's gonna be yeah, yeah this, look, he's you know he's been inspiring Billy Joe Saunders and he's been inspiring all these these good guys and, and he's doing you know he's doing very well against them so I've got massive confidence in Conrad Cummings I just it's just about getting him the right fights and pushing him on you know not not fast tracking him too much but you know he's just he's had five fights in the WSB so now it's look you know you can't keep fighting you know, easy opponents for him, or else he's just gonna, you know, he's not gonna get motivated for it. So this is this is a good guy. He's just taking uh, an 11-0 prospect or 10-0 prospect with, sorry, 11-0 with 10 knockouts, 
and he beat him over six rounds in, the la in his last fight. So he's he's genuinely ready to, to uh, come in here to win. And you know, when Blaine made the match, um, you know, he says, I I've seen Comrade Cummings. He says, I, I want to fight him, I'll beat him. So it's, it's great. Appreciate your time. Cheers, Johnny. Thanks very much.